All right, welcome back again. Today we're gonna install these ghost shadow lights. I'm sure most of you have heard of them. Saw them on eBay or Amazon. I shop eBay personally, but this is all it is. Just unscrews like that. Okay, unscrews. And then it comes with a hole saw drill. It was this little thing. And we're just gonna drill it up in here and run the wires to this existing light. Not all vehicles have a light here, so you might have to run it to a toggle switch, run it up through the door, but you'll get the general idea. So first you're gonna wanna find a spot where it's not gonna go through and hurt anything. So you're gonna wanna pry this up. Just like that. Look behind, find a spot that's clean and clear, which right here is a really good spot. So that's where I'm gonna go ahead and drill. And then you load the bit in, and you drill. Now that you got a hole drilled, goes all the way through, you'll load the light in accordingly. All right, so the hole does need drilled out just a little bit more. It's a very tight fit, which is good. So I had to go get the Dremel because the drill bit is literally the perfect size for the smooth part right here. But then there's the grooves and the rings, which that's where it gets hung up on. So I'm just gonna widen the hole just barely. That way it can, uh, it can go in there a lot easier. That should be enough. Then just put the rings on the back side. After that, you'll find a power source, which I already have one right here. So I'm just gonna unscrew it. You can see the wires over there coming out. We'll just tap into these and we'll use this. So when the doors open, it automatically comes on. All right, this is how I have it hooked up. You can see negative to positive. My hand down here, you can see the actual uh, logo. Obviously it's too bright to see what it really looks like, but basically it. I was trying on the ground. Hopefully this isn't too tall of a vehicle and it will actually shine on the ground. But I'm going to go ahead and solder these connections and uh... All right, now that it's done, you see it's still lighting up. Everything's working good. So we'll go ahead and uh, start on the other side and hopefully it'll get dark here soon and we can see what it looks like.
pretty cool. It's up there, pretty good, nice and flush, as you can see. So it won't get caught up on anything, but there it is. There you have it. It's all done. Looks good. It's a really simple, easy install. Um, you, not all vehicles have the lights there, so you might have to run it to a toggle switch or to whatever. I don't know. You can run it to a lot of different things, but dome lights even. Or your door switch. But thanks for watching the video. I hope this video has helped someone out there um, install theirs or if they ever wondered how to install them. It's a really simple, easy, very easy upgrade just to kind of give you, I mean, they have these in everything. They have them in um, your favorite video game logo. They have them in Honda emblems and Chevy emblems, all kinds of stuff. So, hope this video has helped. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share if you haven't already, and uh, stay tuned for more content.